Hey guys, Chance here at Repair Dice. We're back here in the electrical dungeon. Uh, working on a couple systems. I got a, a 170 sprinter van system here on the bench. And then over here, I've got a 48 volt system that I'm designing for a ATC PLA 450 that just pulled in. Uh, really cool trailer, excited to throw this in there. We are gonna be able to fit 2000 watts of solar up on the roof. Uh, coupled with our 48 volt server rack batteries. Uh, we're doing four of them for 9.6 kilowatts of storage or 800 amp hours at 12 volt. And I think what I'm gonna do with this board is I'm actually gonna flip it over and mount it on the underside of the gear tunnel. Uh, it's gonna give a ton of storage for everything in there and create a really clean install. So excited to get going on it. Yeah, I think this was the most efficient use of space. I was thinking about doing a divider wall and all that, but it just seemed like more work than being able to pre-assemble it on a board and then put it on the ceiling and it gives them more storage space. So finish bolting this in and then we'll remove the two 12 volt battle boards here. And we're gonna drop in our 48 volt battery bank right here and start hooking things up. Should come together pretty quick. Solar is going on after this. We're gonna be able to fit 2000 watts on the roof. We're gonna be doing a little different mounting system and it's gonna allow us to cheat the panels out a little and we're gonna be able to fit six of the rich 335 watt panels. So we are a really sweet setup. I'm excited to get it outside and, and see how it performs. Oh, dude, ah. Yep, just uh, get some wires tidied up here. We uh, just finished this all in the battery bank in this PLA 450. Uh, we snuck in four of the 48 volt server racks. Each one of these is equivalent to 200 amp hours at 12 volts. So it's comparison, this brick here, you would need about eight Battleborn batteries, roughly. Uh, to produce the same amount of power. So really compact bank. I'm really happy with how it went in and I'm about to put the face on it right now. Hey guys, just wrapped up the install on this PLA 450. Uh, really happy with how it turned out. So let's take a look. Come around to the side of the storage bay. We were able to fit four of our 48 volt server rack batteries here for a total of 9.4 kilowatt hours, excuse me, 9.6. Right around 200 amp hours at 12 volt per battery. So a total of 800 amp hours. And then if you look up on the roof of the storage department, we actually did the install up there. So it kept all the storage open, turned out really clean. I'm really happy with how uh, Really happy with it. It's a fun install to do. Up on the roof, we have 1,875 watts of solar panels. You can see the panels are actually hanging over by about three inches on either side, still within the wheel well. Um, but we were able to do that with our mounting system there and slide the panels out so we could fit five of the rich 335 watt panels up there. That coupled with his OEM panel, uh, another 200 watts came out really nice. I'm um, really happy with how it, we were able to fit it all up there. So pretty cool setup. So yeah, with the 1800 watts on the roof, um, give or take, you know, position of the sun, time of the year, you're gonna be seeing anywhere from thousand watts probably on, on the regular to even 1600 coming in, which on a really good day is gonna offset the AC unit. Probably would be like to be closer to 2,500 watts to confidently offset the AC unit. But still, I mean, we can go in and take a peek. We're at 100% right now, the AC's on, the compressor's cycling on and off, and we're covering that load. And it's, what time is it? 11 in the morning, so the sun's still pretty low in the sky. So you can come in here and take a peek. We got our uh, touch 50 display and you can see right now our AC compressors on we're pulling 1200 watts 
and we're getting 870 watts right now coming in. They're gonna be able to boondock for as long as they want with this setup and um, it really, you know, the sky's the limit. So I'm excited for them to get out, use it, and uh, on to the next one. So one thing that was really cool about working on the ATC trailer was the all aluminum construction. And then the way they assemble everything made it really seamless to integrate with. For example, like the shore power input is grinded right on the side. So we're able to easily get in there and tie in with our full pass system without having to really deconstruct the trailer or pull a ton of wire in a bunch of different spots. So made for a really clean install.